explosive situation developing backstage between those superstars. That's the thing with tomatoes, Cole. Always stirring up trouble. But I'm supposed to be your manager. I can't manage you from back here. Listen, sweetheart. With the way you've been flirting with you-know-who, you can't manage me, period. How am I supposed to focus on my matches when you're running around behind my back? Flirting? Running around? You're paranoid. Oh, really? Well, you're staying back here or else. And if anyone says that they saw you talking to anyone, anyone at all, there's going to be some very unpleasant consequences for you, sweetheart. Rene Dupree's match is coming up next. He's leaving Tory backstage? What's he thinking? There's the three count, and he suffers yet another loss. I told you he should have brought Tory to the ring with him, Cole. These two superstars collide next week on SmackDown. Wilson's contract. I think we just saw a preview of that match, Cole. There's only one guy standing in the ring right now. Day. Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside, and what a show we've got tonight. What a show, and what a main event. A last man standing match for Tory Wilson's services. If you know what I mean, Cole, uh, knowing you, you probably don't know what I mean. Two superstars battle it out in a no holds barred contest until one of them is physically unable to stand. The other will leave the arena tonight with Tory Wilson. Hey, I guess you did know what I meant. It's gonna be intense physical competition, and I can't wait to see these guys tear each other limb from limb. Well, your challenge for tonight's match was accepted. Are you sure you understand the implications of the match? I understand that after tonight, I don't have to worry about him putting his hands on Tori. That's all that matters. Unless, of course, you lose. What did you say? If you lose, you're going home alone. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. He did it. He won the last man standing match. He's hurting now, Cole, but I'm sure that Tory's gonna make him feel a lot better real soon.
a lot to learn, kid. Business <laughs> in that, and you know it. Yo, check this out. Can you defy gravity and your own fear? I can. Now I want to see if you can do it. Right here, right now, in this very ring. And just to make things a little bit more interesting, I've got a week's pay, dinero, in this briefcase. Now if you got the huevos, Come on down and we'll have ourselves a little ladder match. Yo, much respect. It was worth a week's pay to see that. That was a hell of a match. Awesome match, just awesome. You know, I've been looking for a special match of vengeance, and I think I've got it. A four-man elimination style, no DQ battle royal between you, Charlie Haas, Bubba Ray Dudley, and Rey Mysterio. You heard the general manager, Taz. A four-man battle royal this Sunday at Vengeance. What a great old school match. What a great mix of styles. This is gonna be off the chain. Vengeance is served. WWE SmackDown live on pay-per-view. Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. I can't wait to get this show started, Cole. I gotta see that four-man elimination style battle royal. None of these guys have an ounce of quit in them. No titles on the line, just a lot of pride on the part of all four superstars. I think this one could steal the show. And there you have it, the winner of the Battle Royal of Vengeance. What an amazing competitor. Big ups to all these guys. They all put on one hell of a match. And for the sound of things, I think the crowd agrees with me. Hey, what are you doing here? This is the women's locker room. I'd say you're paying attention now. Yeah, but you know Turnabout's fair play. You look pretty worked up. You're never gonna win tonight with that much tension. Come here and lie down for a minute. How does that feel?
Wow, looks like things are getting pretty hot in there. I guess sometimes nice guys finish first after all, or at least tense guys do. Looks like there's some trouble brewing between these superstars. That's the problem with tomatoes, Cole. Everywhere they go, trouble is not far. Whoa, that's a heck of a smack a Sable just laid on him. This is getting completely out of hand. These guys are going to kill each other, Cole. If you want Sable, come get her in the garage. You better hurry, though, because we're going to drive back to the hotel for a little after-show party. Ha <laughs> ha. this utter brutality in. Neither one of these guys will quit, Cole, as long as they're breathing. We're going to be short two superstars if our general manager doesn't break this up quick. A first blood match this Sunday at SummerSlam. I'm telling you, Cole, if this don't settle it, nothing's gonna. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SummerSlam. Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. You know, Cole, there's definitely some bad blood here tonight between these two superstars who want to get their hands on Sable. And not for nothing, who can blame them? A first blood match tonight fought over the lovely Sable. It's guaranteed to be a physical battle between two superstars whose hate for each other knows no limits. First blood has been shed, and this rivalry is over. Hey, you know, it's hard to pretend you didn't just get your ass kicked when you're tasting your own blood. I don't think he'll be back anytime soon. I knew you'd deal with that creep. I'm sticking with you from now.
Well, according to my notes, I don't have an interview scheduled for this segment. Yeah, well, tell that to the guy with the microphone. It looks like he's got something to say, and he's gonna say it. Madame and Monsieur, tonight, for your amusement, I want to talk to a certain WWE superstar who's been making quite an impact of late. So, it must be quite a rush for you to appear in front of all these fans and be interviewed by someone like myself, or Randy Dupree, huh? Oh, do I detect a bit of sarcasm there? Let me clarify things for you. I've seen a hundred guys step into this ring thinking they're the toughest thing around. And I've seen those same hundred guys wind up being taken away on stretchers. And do you know why? Do you? Wrong! They were so full of themselves that they forgot the first rule of this business. You do whatever it takes to rise to the top. What's this? That's entrance music, but I don't see anyone coming down to the ring. A chair shot out of nowhere. And again, more chair shots. What's this all about? Yeah, well, they're giving them a real beat down right now. Like they said, I guess they're doing... This is sick. This kind of gutless display seems more like the bottom of the barrel, if you ask me. What a cowardly ambush. Take a good look, you piece of trash. Get a good look at this man. The man who just took you out. The man who's going to end your career. One week ago, we saw one of the most heinous attacks I've ever seen in this business. Now you know that I'll stop at nothing to bring you the most exciting sports entertainment television possible. And you can argue that what happened last week was exciting. But due to the actions of a certain individual, one of our most popular superstars is unable to wrestle this week. So I'd like the perpetrator of this most heinous act to get out here right now. Hey GM, relax, don't get so ticked off. You said you wanted exciting television and that's exactly what we gave you. Did you hear the crowd when that chair bounced off his head? Man, they loved it. He's lucky we didn't put him through a table. I guess I didn't realize that he was such a... <laughs> a wuss? Well, I hope you still find the whole thing funny when I say... He wasn't as fragile as you thought he was. believe what I'm seeing. It's amazing he can even walk after the beating he took last week. Not only is he walking,
there certainly appears to be no love loss between these two teams. And it looks to get worse before it gets better this Sunday at No Mercy. And don't think it's not a no disqualification match. Just when you thought things couldn't get any more brutal. I've been thinking, maybe I can arrange for a little consultation with Stacy myself. That's Matt Hardy. He's a Raw superstar. What's he doing here on SmackDown? Well, Looks like he's taking Stacy back to Raw. Man, I was hoping we were able to spend a little more time looking at those unbelievable legs. Look at this. They're beating the hell out of Hardy, and Stacy approves. I think that's Stacy's idea of a job interview. Well, look who's back from Raw, Taz. It's Matt Hardy again, and this time he's brought Batista with him. Last week, I came to SmackDown to bring Stacey Keebler back to Raw, and I got ambushed in the ring by two so-called superstars from SmackDown. Well, Matt Hardy version one's back, and I've got a message for those two gutless cowards. If you think you're so tough, how about both of you come down to this ring and get a Mattitude adjustment and have a match with both of us right now? Guys, I think you're a little confused. This isn't raw. So unless you've got a valid SmackDown contract, you need to get the hell out of my arena right now. What about Stacy? She's not supposed to be here either. Well, I'm currently in the process of reviewing Stacy's contract, and it might take all night to finish. But believe me, I've got no interest in reviewing anything that you two have to offer. So if you're not gonna wrestle in my ring, Get the hell.